conheci. E quem estava dentro d'água pegando algumas ondas era o Jeff Kendall. A gente vai ter um papozinho com ele agora. How's it going, Jeff? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Um, how's the waves, man? Como é que estavam as ondas, Jeff? Well, I'm no wave expert, but it's, it's good enough for me, man. I'm just trying to learn, having fun, stuff like that. So, you live uh, in Middle America, right? That's yeah. in, in Indianapolis, that? Yeah. So, how come man, you come to California to surf? Você mora mais ou menos é, no meio dos Estados Unidos, né? Indianápolis, né? Como é que você veio aqui para o sul da Califórnia só para pegar onda? Actually, I came out here for a fishing trip. A friend of mine, we went down deep sea fishing in uh, out of San Diego, down by Mexico, and we're just hanging out here for a week because we don't have nothing better to do, sort of a vacation thing, and uh, we decided we hooked up with Duncan and decided to go surfing and stuff. That's what we came out here for, kind of. Uh, Um pouquinho do lado agora o surf, né? Vamos falar, falar de skate, né? Faz de contas, o cara é skatista profissional, né? Perguntar pra ele quanto tempo você anda de skate e qual é a sua idade? I'm 20, 20 years old and uh um, I can't remember how I started skating. The first my skateboard was like a tool, I mean like a toy, like a big wheel or something. And uh, just kicked around every once in a while. If I was bored I'd grab it, sort of like my bicycle or whatever, and grab it and ride around and eventually it became a serious sport for me. And I just started doing it every day, you know, trying to learn new stuff, new tricks every day. And uh, that's pretty much how I got started, was through um, friends that started doing it seriously before me. And I'd watch them and learn off them. All right. Você é um profissional, né? Tá ganhando grana com as suas tábuas e tudo. Inclusive, tem até muita tábua no Brasil do Jeff Kendall. Como é que você virou profissional? Como é que você entrou e pegou seu patrocínio? Well, I was um, doing pretty good in amateur contests and stuff. And uh, my company was backing me on, on turning pro and friends were backing me and stuff. So I just decided not that many people were really turning pro when I, when I turned. It was like beginning, it was January of 86. It was my first pro contest. And... Um, So it just seemed like a good as move as any to go ahead and try the pro ranks. Como é que você encontrou, cara, seu patrocínio? Você, pô, entrou em contato com a Santa Cruz ou a Santa Cruz entrou em contato contigo? Como é que aconteceu isso, mano? Um, well, riders for Santa Cruz, they were already riding for him. They, uh, they got a hold of me when I was riding for Powell. And, um, I was pretty much going nowhere. I wanted to, uh, get out of Indianapolis and travel, come out to California and skate, you know, in contests and stuff. Santa Cruz offered to fly me around fly me out here and fly me to Virginia Beach where I got first place in that amateur contest. So that's pretty much why I jumped to Santa Cruz because they you know, had so much stuff in line for me to do. 